Right, for a long time now, basically since we started in fact, we have run a series looking at the last seven top scorers in a particular division and where said top scorers are now. There are plenty more leagues for us to explore on that front, but it was suggested that we do a similar series on the last seven top scorers at specific clubs. So today, we start with Manchester United, who obviously have a pretty hefty fan base, and this should give us a decent idea of whether this is a series you'd be keen to see from us. As always, make sure to leave any other video requests or suggestions in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe to HITC7s. Here are Manchester United's last seven top scorers, where are they now? Romelu Lukaku, Manchester United Last season's top scorer at Old Trafford, we won't spend too long on Romelu Lukaku since most of you probably know exactly what he is up to now. The powerful and intelligent Belgian had a good season last term, bagging 27 goals for Manchester United and 4 for Belgium at the World Cup. Still only 25, there are still question marks regarding Lukaku's touch, technique and his ability against the very best teams at times, but he is a player who always works extremely hard and is unrelenting in his attempts to keep improving. Zlatan Ibrahimovic, LA Galaxy It seems like longer ago than the season before the one just gone, but it was only in 2016-17 that Zlatan Ibrahimovic bagged 28 goals in his first and basically his only season with the Red Devils. Ibrahimovic is of course one of the finest players of his generation, competing for so long with a handful of others in that bracket of world-class player just below Messi and Ronaldo. There were doubts about his credentials in the Premier League at the age of 34, but he averaged better than a goal every other game prior to his serious knee ligament injury. Now age 36, the big Swede joined MLS outfit LA Galaxy in March of this year, where he has since scored 12 goals in 15 games. Anthony Martial, Manchester United I'll bet that a good few people, passionate Manchester United fans included, would have forgotten or never knew that Anthony Martial was the club's top scorer in the 2015-16 season. That was actually the Frenchman's first season with the club, and he was only 19 years of age when he arrived. So his 17 goal tally perhaps serves as a reminder as to why many people feel the former Monaco prospect is being mismanaged by Jose Mourinho and needs to leave United to further his career. Martial is now 22 and he scored 11 goals last season, currently being linked with Chelsea and Tottenham. Wayne Rooney, DC United Manchester United's all-time leading scorer, Wayne Rooney's inclusion in this seven was an inevitability. As always with these videos, we cover the last seven players, not the last seven seasons, meaning Rooney features only once, despite having been United's top scorer six times. The former club captain was most recently top scorer in the 2014-15 season, when he bagged 14 goals, but he hit the back of the net 34 times in his best two campaigns. Rooney was an exceptional player, but arguably he could have been even better, and his early decline is perhaps a slight indication of that. Aged only 32, the Evertonian has already retired from international duty and now plays for DC United in the MLS. Robin Van Persie, Feyenoord One of Sir Alex Ferguson's final signings as a manager, and certainly the most significant of his final summer in charge of the club, Robin Van Persie won the Premier League Golden Boot in his first season at Old Trafford, having also won it at Arsenal the previous season. A fantastic centre forward at his best, Van Persie was technical, intelligent and clinical, renowned for that lethal left foot of his. His goals fired United to the Premier League title in Ferguson's last season in charge of the club, but he left two years later for Fenerbahce. Since January 2018, RVP has been back at his boyhood club Feyenoord, where the 34-year-old has seven goals in 14 games. Dimitar Berbatov, free agent. A player who I and I'm sure all footballing purists love to watch, Dimitar Berbatov was a bit of an odd fit at Manchester United. Technically, there were few better in the world of football, but his languid and often seemingly disinterested style didn't really fit in with the overall team ethos. Ultimately, I've always suspected that is probably why Sir Alex moved the Bulgarian on, but that doesn't mean he didn't leave a real impression at Old Trafford. A magician with the ball at his feet, Berbatov topped the scoring charts with 21 goals in the 2010-11 season, before moving on to Fulham a year later. Berbatov is certainly not a player who ever relied on pace or athleticism, so his tumbling down the footballing ladder has come as some surprise. Now a free agent most recently having played in the Indian Super League, one can only speculate that he no longer has the passion or love of the game that he once had. Cristiano Ronaldo, Juventus Arguably the most gifted footballer to ever turn out for Manchester United, although there is some stiff competition, 
Cristiano Ronaldo's best season at the club was quite incredible. In the 2007-08 campaign, the Portuguese superstar stamped down his authority as one of the best footballers on the planet with 42 goals from the wing. He went on to win the 2008 Ballon d'Or, but in 2009, he left United in a world record breaking move to Real Madrid. In the nine years since then, Ronaldo has scored 450 goals in 438 games for Real, winning four more Ballon d'Ors, two La Ligas, and four Champions Leagues. He left the Bernabeu this summer in a £105 million switch to Juventus at the age of 33. So that's it for our seven. Thanks for watching, feel free to subscribe and turn on notifications for more from us if you enjoyed the video, and you can now also follow us on Twitter for more ramblings from me. Our username is simply at HITC7s.